Hello YouTube, Quinny Free Takes here. I never do takes, but I've had a freaking nightmare with this camera. So yes, fingers crossed this is the one. Um, right, yes, pickups. Here we go, short but sweet. Short and sweet. Short and very sweet. It's going to be short, basically. So, yeah, not being up to much, no kabu. I was um, drinking at the weekend, Saturday night, at friends like um, New House, um, housewarming party. We was there till late, so Kabu was totally not on the cards, which I'm a bit gutted about because it was a nice Sunday morning as well. I remember looking out at like 7am, thinking, shit, I bet we were decent this morning. But it happens, I'm not drinking this weekend, so hopefully I'm going to go to one this weekend. So yeah, it's just charity shop finds and Friday game shop finds. Two weeks of Friday game shop, because um, I didn't show in my last video. I've got a lovely pickup for the last the last one. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start with charity shop finds. Uh, it goes to the four charity shops. Uh, the lady in the last one always seems to have stuff for me. Two, two, three week on the trot now. She's like, yeah. I'm like, surely you haven't got anything in two, three weeks on the trot. And she's like, I have. Like it's not all there, but I've got this wee thing in. I'm like, okay. She pulls it out, and it's a boxed wee. Um, as you can see, mine is up there, and I only just got mine a couple of weeks ago. So it's quite strange that I would come across another. And I've been doing this like nearly two years now, and not come across um, just your original wees. Um, so yeah, I've already had the innards out because I was halfway through showing this in my previous video. So yeah, um, it's all there. Well, it's not all there got the innards um, and she's like yeah I don't think it's all there so I'm like okay I opens it up and I like had a quick sneaky peek um, and I was pleased to find something else that shouldn't be there so your wee nice lovely 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 that's still intact which is good this might be better than mine actually, I might have to have a look at that. I don't even know if it works to be honest. It could have a game in fan. I will find out. Um, so yeah, that's all good for the console. Um, and then I kind of look in, you got your sensor bar. Randomly two nunchucks, but only one Wiimote. You get your stand, um, all your literature, all literature there. We sports, yes, we sports. <laughs> no, we sports. Shit. It's probably, hopefully, inside. Um, no plug, but it did have da -da -da -da, new Super Mario Bros. And I haven't got this. As you can, as you can see, I've been half. I have been after this for a while. Not like actively searching, but like looking at car boots and blah blah blah. I'm thinking I want to pick that up sometime. Obviously, I, I want to get all kind of the Mario series on every console. So yeah, I was made up to have this in there. Um, so yeah, it's all all complete. As you can see, it's in really really nice condition. I already have this with my 25th anniversary. Um, Mario Wii console, but I haven't. It's in like a cardboard sleeve. I haven't got it in the red Wii case. So happy with that. Yeah, the only thing it was missing was uh, the plug, the power supply. Oh, and the TV connection, I suppose. But everything else, and for the price, she's like, I don't know how much, how much to charge because it's not all there. I'm like, yeah, just get, just tell me. She's like, five pound. Yes, I will take it. So, I think that's decent for five pounds, to be honest. Maybe I should have given more. I don't know. Because Mario Bros goes for a lot more than five pounds, and obviously the the console and everything, and with it being boxed. So, we'll sort that out there. So yeah, five pounds, box we charity shop. Can't go wrong. Um, I'll probably keep hold of it. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Um, next, Friday game shop. I did buy that. Why is that there? Ah, shit. It's downstairs. 
I've already got it on eBay. I basically got two Master System games. I got Mickey Mouse and The Land of Illusion. Not looking at my list that I have on my phone like an absolute dick. I've already got it. Um, I was sure to myself. You now when you like, you come across this, the more you're collecting games, you, you see a particular game, you're like, no, I definitely have got that. And you come away with it and you're like, I have got it. It's one of them moments. So anyway, Mickey Mouse Land of Illusion, five pounds on the Freddy Game Shop. I've listed that on eBay on the But I also got this. Wonder Boy in Monster World. Now this, I literally just picked this up because this was one of the better conditioned games in the Friday game shop. As you can see it's got, it's complete, it's got the poster and the manual is just absolutely mint. Um, I didn't know, I knew, I wanted to collect Wonder Boy as a series. I've never played it, but I've heard really good things about the Wonder Boy series. The Wonder Boy and Shinobi World, blah blah blah. Um, and I, but I didn't know the cost of this. And I like, called over to him and I went, Wonder Boy! And he went, Tenor. I was like, that probably sounds good and it's a really good game. So I'm like, yeah, I'll have it, Tenor. So 15 quid I paid for this and Mickey Mouse Land Illusion. Comes home, looks on eBay, and this, there's like one copy of it on eBay. And it's going for like £30. I looked at sold listings in 2030, so I got a really good deal on this at £10. They'll do that now and again, they'll just throw prices at you. And if you know the costs, I suppose you can pick him up on it and say, listen mate, that's... Or you can catch him slipping and get this for £10. I didn't intentionally do it, I literally thought, Wonder Boy, it's probably a good price that. And I were in a rush. So yeah, Wonder Boy, Monster World, £10. Decent, glad to have that. I'm freaking running out of space for Master System games. That is in the collection. Um, then the week after, I had some eBay funds. I had quite a lot of eBay funds. I sold loads of alarm bits and all sorts of bits and bats, and I had £110 in eBay. So I drew it all out. This is all from stuff that I like got for free, like alarm piece bits and pieces. And Lee had previously told me at the beginning of that week that he just scored a massive N64 collection for a good few thousand. But these games were in like immaculate condition. So of course I wanted to go look at them. He didn't have them at a shop. I went to his house and we were looking through, and they are all literally like in excellent condition. Um. So, so yeah, I, I picked one out, one that I've been after for a while, and I'll show you that last. I'll show you this one first. This is Castlevania. This wasn't part of the, the lot I picked up. I kind of got this as like an added extra from his shop. As you can see, there's a few scuffs and stuff, but Castlevania on the N64. I want to collect all the Castlevanias for every console so the manual and everything's decent the cartridge is in good nick as you can see it's just a box is a bit scuffed which i'm not bothered about to be fair on this particular title i am on sun I'll put that in a sentinel case and it'll look decent it looks spot on so yeah just castlevania there's another one legacy of darkness i think for the n64 this is just castlevania there you go um so yeah, I picked that up as like a bit of a, a Brucey bonus, because um, I were like a bit on paying so much for the, although I got the funds from eBay for practically next to nothing, that's why I wanted to shell out on a big title, I was like, I was still a bit, oh, what, I don't know whether I want to spend that much, I'm having a friggin nightmare trying to put this back here, I was like, I don't know whether I want to spend that much on an N64 game, anyway, I did. And it is Mario Party 2. And it's in a sentinel case at the moment, which I don't know if I'm gonna freaking be able to open now. Absolute idiot. Because these ones are a freaking nightmare to get into. Yeah, you have done it. Mario Party 2. I'm gonna do a. Uh, um. Oh, what's his name? <laughs> My memory shit. Sorry. Cyber Snake. Jay, I'm doing a Cyber Snake. I'm showing you all the edges. Because this... 
this warrants showing you all the edges. Take it out of its super thick sentinel case. And I mean, this is in like tip top condition. Um, and I, like I say, if it, because I've been after this game for a while, I've got Mario Party 1. I want all three Mario Parties for the N64. Um, I hate opening them when they're like this. Um, and apparently he told Lee, the guy told Lee that some of these games he hasn't even played. Like, this is still in its baggy. I don't even know if it's ever been opened, I'll be honest. I'll leave it in that. Again, the precautions, being a midjigger, the manual is in tip top condition as well. Um, so, yeah, how much did I pay, you all ask? I paid 110 for Mario and Castlevania. Castlevania goes for about 20 in that condition, anyway. So, £90 really, I paid for it. And I think it's kind of the going rate. I've seen some go for 70, 80, but they're nowhere near as good condition as this one. This is. And all his other games, he had Conkers as well. He had Conkers, but Lee, what the guy who owns the shop, he won't willing to let Conkers go for um, for 90 quid. So I settled on Mario Party 2. I've been after that for a while. He had Mario Party 3, but he sold it, I think, for. 300 or something really ridiculous he sold it for like a crazy amount so yeah um happy to add those to n64 collection this case is pretty do my head but yeah i ain't added any n64 games for a while so they will go in there and like i say it's short and sweet hopefully i picked it like that and yeah um i'm gonna mess about with these so thank you for watching and i will see you on the next instalment of pickups uh thanks to the new subs and uh, thanks for all the good comments and likes and everything keep watching guys thank you very much peace out